how to sound more confident on camera. Do you want to sound more confident on camera? Do you want to look like an expert and really stand out like a leader, especially in the virtual world? Then you will not want to miss today's video on how to sound more confident on camera. Here's exactly what you can expect from this video. I will be giving you three very important practices that you can start using right away to sound like the superstar that you are. But first, if you are a professional who wants to improve your public speaking skills, your presentation skills, or just be able to sound more confident when you speak, then do subscribe to my channel because I post videos and resources to help you become a confident speaker. And who am I exactly? If we haven't met yet, my name is Maria Malik and I am a public speaking coach. I run an online program called the Speak With Confidence Academy that basically helps people, especially professionals, go from being shy, nervous, afraid of public speaking to becoming enigmatic, confident speakers who really leave an impact on their audience. Who doesn't want that? I have helped people from all over the world gain full confidence in themselves and excel at public speaking. Today, I hope to help you as well. So now let's get to the practices on how to sound more confident on camera. First and foremost, you must build a relationship with the camera. You have to have some sort of camera presence in order to sound more confident. You can only do that by building a relationship with your camera. So that means you can't be afraid of the camera, you can't be nervous in front of the camera, and you absolutely need to work the camera in your favor. So that's great and all, but how can you do this exactly? In order to build a relationship with your camera, you need to spend time with your camera. So turn on your camera and start recording yourself. Do some mock presentations, do some mock TED Talks, just get in front of your camera and talk. While you're doing that, make sure that you record yourself and you rewatch every recording. Then take notes on what you look like, what you are saying, and where you are looking, aka your body language. The first few times you'll probably cringe every time you open your mouth, but you will start to become more and more aware of your presence and aware of your speaking style. Record yourself at least three times and you will notice that each time you record yourself, you've gotten a little bit better than last time. Not only that, but this will help you build a relationship with your camera, which in turn makes you sound and look 10 times more confident on a real presentation or meeting. So the second practice that I have for you is to ramp up your energy. When you are on camera, everything that you do for some reason is dulled down. Your makeup, your lighting, your energy. I know that sucks, but unfortunately that does happen. Let me ask you a question. So would you rather listen to a person who sounds boring or someone who's bringing the enthusiasm and vibrancy in what they're saying? I think I speak for everyone when I say the latter is a little bit easier to pay attention to. Now, I don't mean be over the top, but when you are on camera, you need to level up your energy just slightly to not come off as completely dull and boring. If you act like what you're talking about is exciting and worth listening to on camera, then your audience will feel the same. Remember, energy is highly contagious. And something that I like to do before getting on camera is actually just having a cup of coffee just to give me that extra little boost. It does make a world of a difference and you sound so much more confident in what you're saying. So before we move on to the third and last point, I do wanna give you guys a free resource. If you need help on your next presentation or speech, I have just the thing for you. Make sure you grab yourself a free copy of my public speaking workbook. Some things that you can find in the workbook are tips and tricks, a timeline to follow, a goal setting sheet, a story bank sheet, a cheat sheet, and so much more. I will leave the link down below for you to download yours today. Also, when you do download it, there is an extensive free training on the three secrets to crush your next virtual presentation, which I think you will find very valuable. So the third and last practice that I have for you is do not memorize. One of my clients told me that she was reading off of a script her entire presentation online. This literally boggled my mind. And let me tell you why that's a bad idea. If you are reading off of a script, you'll probably sound like you're reading off of a script. And because of that, you're not going to sound confident in what you're saying. 
So instead, if you want to sound confident in what you're saying, then have some sort of bullet points ready with examples for each. As you speak, add what you feel like is necessary and remove what really isn't. This is especially important in case someone asks you a question midway through and you have to answer. You will need to go off script, but you'll have your bullet points to come back to. To sound confident, you just need a blueprint to follow and be open to moving around it if you really need to, because you never know what can be thrown your way midway through. So please, please, please do not memorize, but create a blueprint to follow along during your time on camera. So these are all the tips that I have for you today to sound more confident on camera. Start implementing them right away and let me know how it goes for you. If you've made it this far in the video, then I know you are serious about becoming a great public speaker. Since you are, I would love to speak to you about what challenges you're facing and see if I could potentially help you overcome them. I am posting a link to my calendar, so go ahead and book a call with me to see if the Speak With Confidence Academy is a good fit for you. Link to my calendar is posted down below. That is all for today. And if you want to watch similar videos, check out these videos right here to help you become a more confident speaker. It was great spending this time with you today and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.